Good morning, students. Hope you are doing fine. Today's topic is starting a business and what factors you should be considering before you take a decision. Yes, you want to go business. So this is what we are going to do in today's class. We will discuss the various factors which one needs to consider before starting a business. The very first thing is selecting the line of business. You have taken a decision, yes, now you want to start a business and uh, it's not that today you have taken a decision and tomorrow you will start it. There's a lot of planning, a lot of uh, Homework needs to be done before we start any business. Okay, it's not like today you tell your mother to make pudding and uh, tomorrow you are having the pudding. Yeah, it's not that simple. So if you want to do a business, you need to analyze and check pros and cons of each and every decision you take. Okay, so starting from selecting the line of business. The first thing as an entrepreneur, what you will decide whether you want to start with a factory or you want to be a, a part of commerce, like you will be doing a trade of some commodity or you will start a service. So any of these business lines you can select. So once you have decided, on what basis you will uh, decide that first you will gather the information from the market what is the demand you know, on the basis of demand only you will decide on x thing let me give you an example suppose uh, you decide to open a shop a sweet shop okay and a sweet shop in lagos and you decide to sell their Indian sweets. So here your target market is only Indians. That means very few footfalls will be there in your shop because many people, they do not, in Lagos, do not enjoy eating Indian sweets, right? So you need to think carefully before starting any business first you need to analyze and gather the information and and then analyze it okay and then you check the demand and accordingly you will take the decision second thing is knowledge suppose you have uh, okay you thought of let me start a business a restaurant you have taken a decision i'm going to start a restaurant but do you have sufficient knowledge of the business have you taken proper training or what is the source of knowledge who is going to support you those permissions a lot of things are there behind starting a business the proper knowledge is in the field is the prerequisite now the profit profit is the main thing yeah so we need to check suppose uh, uh, or instead of Indian sweets, you started a pastry or a cake shop. Okay, so you will get more footfalls. Now, in case of uh, suppose you are selling cupcake, selling one cupcake gives you less profit than selling one pastry. Right? Suppose if you sell one pastry, you can make 100 rupees and if you are selling one cupcake you can make only 10 rupees so you need to decide where you what you want to sell for so you will decide where which gives you more profit right so some people work on volumes also so that is your decision which kind of business line you will select so three things here are important first is demand for the business what you are thinking to start second is the knowledge about that Thing, and the third is profit. Second point, scale or size of the business. So once you have decided, okay, this is, uh, 
I'm going to start a small cake shop or a cafe. So after deciding that, how big that enterprise will be, you know, you need to check the size of the business, whether it is going to be on small scale or your, uh, your plan is big or medium. So depending on, or maybe you're trying to cater only a few, like suppose you want people in certain locality to be your, as your customers. So you're starting it on small scale. So you're happy with that. Whether you want people, more people to know about your business. So it has to be on large scale. Then choice of business organization, this chapter you're doing also, sole proprietorship, whether you want to start it individually or it should be a partnership or a joint stock company. So if you are starting it individually, so that means uh, it will give you the freedom of taking decisions. You are not looking up to anyone or any, nobody will interfere in your business. In partnership, yes, then you can, you know, have, uh, shared risk with your partners and the investment part will also be uh, can be taken care of then company if you want to start a company that means you yeah, if you really want to expand further then many people can invest in a company so depending on your choice of business organization you need to decide beforehand now location of business enterprise now if i open a Chinese restaurant, okay, wherein no Chinese are staying in that society or that, uh, let's say, that area. And I start one Chinese restaurant, only Chinese food is served there. So, will that be a good decision? Right? So, you an entrepreneur must decide the place where his enterprise will be located. Okay. Now, before these taking this decision, there are many factors like raw materials, labor. If you have started a restaurant, you need people also working for you. So, uh, is the labor available? how much you have to pay them, then what are the bar, bar conditions in that area, raw materials, do you have to, you know, procure it from very far, or all those decisions are important to be considered. Everything you need to analyze. Then comes financial requirement. Funds are required if you want to start a business. So you'll analyze for what all things, whether you will you'll also need fixed capital for fixed assets like your uh, uh, could be a building or a plant or if it is a manufacturing unit your uh, machines everything fixed assets are required now your working capital which will take care of your day-to-day -day expenses all these things needs to be considered then from where you will arrange these uh, finance from these funds from either it's going to be your own funds okay if your own funds are not sufficient then you need to take loan either from the bank or your relatives if you're taking from the bank you should have some asset to give as collateral or mortgage right and if you are involving your friends or your relatives in the business then you should be ready with the partnership kind of organization wherein there will be a lot of interference from all the parties. If you're okay with this, yes, then you can go for that kind of business. Okay, so that was from where you will fulfill the financial requirement. Then talking about physical facilities. Now, finances are being arranged. Now you need to physically procure all the things which are required like machinery, equipment, building. This decision depends upon the size, scale and the types of activity you want to carry on. Okay. 
okay suppose you are starting a restaurant or a cafe furniture is required if it is a take away then it will be small if you it's a big cafe you need to have furniture you need to have kitchen area then machines equipments to make all those uh, things what you are going to offer to your customer so all this will be under physical facilities which you need to decide beforehand then come talking about the layout what will be the layout of the restaurant where will be the kitchen where will be the uh, counter for billing where will be uh, your where you are going to display your uh, pastries and cakes okay which will be the customer area everything needs to be decided what uh, if you are giving having a washroom where it will be so everything needs to be planned then competent and committed work most important thing to run the business successfully is your people who will be working for you if you do not have a competent people then business won't be an easy job to do because one person cannot do everything okay he needs people and uh, you need competent people who are serious about their work who have commitment towards the work so again the committed workforce is very important now the tax planning what is tax the portion of your income which is submitted to the government why you should submit it to the government why because government is using these funds for building infrastructure and provide civic amenities right right roadways railways all these things support business in turn then once this is done even in under tax planning because each business type has its own tax liability some business have fixed uh, tax like 30% of or 20% and some has on the basis of the income so all those things tax application everything liability you need to check before you take a decision now once you have checked all these things you are ready to launch your enterprise after analyzing all these factors you will be able to mobilize your resources and complete legal formalities of registering your firm yeah so deciding the name of the firm and getting it registered and if it's a company act and the company act you need to so depending on your business type so these are the things which any entrepreneur should consider before starting the business i hope you have understood and uh, you will also try to make one business plan a startup idea yeah and present it to maybe in a form of presentation and then you can share it with me right so that's it for today thank you